She went three and one against the Utes, three and zero as a starter. Uh, but let's revisit these four and tell us what you learned, what you remember, and and let's start with the '88 game up in Salt Lake. Uh, Utah won that one, 57 to 28. Uh, you got in as a freshman, 10 of 20, 238, couple of picks, couple of touchdowns. What was that baptism of fire in the rivalry game like for you? Yeah, I think you know being from Texas, growing up down here, I didn't really understand the rivalry. And then to lose to them really magnified, you know, how uh, <laughs> how much it meant to people in the state. All right, 1989, uh, 70 to 31. It was just uh, one of those games where it was like, oh, man, we, you know, we hated the taste we had last year, but this is, uh, this is a lot better this year. So that was a fun game. All right, let's go back to Salt Lake 1990, your Heisman year. 45 to 22 you throw for 451 what was it like going into salt lake and doing that yeah i think you know the way the year before went i knew you know i think our team knew they'd be kind of excited and and fired up to avenge that one it was a fun uh game it's always fun to win on the road and a, a fun bus ride home you know all those things so that was a good good night as well. How about 1991? Uh, last time you played these guys in Provo, 48-17. You were 18 of 29, two touched, or, uh, two picks, 378 yards, five touchdown passes, and a run for a touchdown. I want to say that was the last game our senior year. We actually tied uh, San Diego State the week before, 52-52, and we had to win. All we had to do was beat Utah to win the the WAC conference and go to the Holiday Bowl. So it, there was a lot riding on it, actually, and and so we came in ready to go. Wanted to make sure we we uh, ended our senior season, our careers the right way as a group of seniors, and and we did. So um, you know, fun way to go out, beating your rival at home, and and securing the conference championship all at one time. They're a different program now, you know. Um, they've done a great job of building that program, but you know, they they weren't known for their defense at that time, probably. <laughs> um, so it was it was a different day and age, and uh, you know, it was just one of those things where we had the upper hand and we knew it. You know, you you won and lost in Salt Lake City. Uh, what's it like playing up at Rice Eccles? It's, uh, you know, it, it's fun when you're, when things are going good, when they're not, uh, it gets out of hand, you know, but, um, you know, they're passionate about their team and, and, uh, I've got good friends that are all Utah fans and they, uh, they love the Utes. And so, you know, I think it's a great, great for the state to have that rivalry and, and two fan bases that are passionate for their teams. And, um, but when you go there, it's definitely a, a hostile environment. You know, it's it's what it should be in a rivalry game. And your job is to go in there and win the game and quiet the crowd. So when that happens, there's nothing better. But uh, when it doesn't, there's probably nothing worse. Do you have any really close friends that old Utes that you've associated with over time? Or Obviously, Freddie Whittingham, we're mm-hmm. still pretty close. He recruits Arizona. So every spring, every winter, I see him and, and – uh, we talk quite a bit. So, you know, I, I love the Whittinghams. They're such a great family and, and have done amazing things for BYU when they were playing. And, and uh, I wish them well every week, except for maybe that one week uh, in a couple of weeks. It'll, it'll probably be the same. It's just, it, man, it's, it's just hard to root for red when they're playing a blue team. So, but uh, <laughs> but I, I appreciate those guys and the way they handle their business, their recruiting, and always honest with our players and, and uh, do things the right way up there as well. So, um, you know, I, I root for them when they're not playing BYU. Junior Mints, Milk Duds, or M&Ms? Milk duds, actually. Oh, that's a good oh. choice. Wise choice. Yes, you never can lose the milk duds. Thank you for watching the Wise Guys. If you like what you're watching, you can help us out by subscribing and hitting that notification button.